Nowadays, computers are replacing palettes and paints in art. In the third part of our series, Switched on Art, Nick Boger takes a look at how computer experts are creating art. The electronic paint box is at work creating otherworldly images, sometimes things that just can't be pictured by traditional illustration tools. But while computers are expanding the bounds of visual fantasy, they sometimes have trouble with the everyday. Human motion, for instance, comes out a little stiff. The quality and fluidity of movement that a good animator can do by hand, as yet, still cannot be done by computer. Meet George the Skeleton. He's two years of work by grad students at Ohio State. The human body has over 200 moving parts in it, and for any given uh, motion, there's a lot of different parts moving in different ways. I'm all in the right socket. Eye-catching animation like that is what Dr. Charles Suri has pioneered at Ohio State. Suri switched from paint to programs in the mid-60s. There's a sense of discovery there, and I have to be open to seeing the possibility. You can program the computer to show you alternatives, but then ultimately, as the artist, you still have to make a value judgment and decide this is the best choice. It's an interactive process. but. But conceptually, it's not that different from the way one works in painting, where you put a color on the page, or on the canvas, let's say, and, and suddenly uh, it suggests another color. Programming into a computer shapes and laws of motion and light creates pictures that move just a little too smoothly to be in the real world. But Madison Avenue has found that that surrealistic smoothness sells. Come on, old trademark. Time for your walk. This 1977 Levi's ad opened the door, one of the first to rely heavily on computer-enhanced imagery. It brought home its message. Marketing surveys showed it to be twice as memorable as the average commercial. This looks like the place where tomorrows begin. Computer imagery is very expensive. You need a lot of well-trained people and a lot of computer memory to program those millions of little light dots into pictures. A couple of years ago, only high-priced national ad campaigns could afford the technology. But now, with the price of switched-on art coming down, local production houses are producing computer images for local commercials, selling everything from coats to cars to condos. And it's happening on the printed page as well. Miami's Gold Coast Graphics sank $2 million into a West German system that turns photos into computer codes to ensure perfect reproduction. The machine can juggle the elements of an ad on its screen, clean up blemishes on a photo, and it does tricks, some of them bizarre. We asked Bob Nelson to perform a little cycloptical illusion. The machine has what we call a duplicating or cloning function, and we end up with uh, two cursors on the screen, and one cursor duplicates the information from one spot to another. Tricks that used to take three, four weeks, some of them were physically impossible in the brain business are now possible with this equipment. Bogart figures some printers will go broke trying to follow his firm into the high-priced computer graphics business. But it is working for Gold Coast. The machines are busy round the clock. The client list has doubled in 18 months, and there are more German crates sitting in the hall with machines that will almost double the firm's investment in computers. Switched on art is becoming a common investment for others, too. Engineers, architects, and even those in high finance. More on that in tomorrow night's report. Nick Bogert, News 4.